All right, guys, the moment has arrived. There has been a lot of shakeup, a lot of offers, a lot of uh, new things happening in the industry. We know that uh, MLF with BPT has emerged. We know a lot of people have left Bass. A lot of people have left FLW. Uh, there's just a shakeup. Shakeups are good. Shakeups are not a negative thing. But, you know, being in this industry 23 years and, and seeing a lot of things go one way, go the other, I don't have anything negative to say about what BPT has come up with. I don't have anything negative to say about Bass, and I don't have anything negative to say about FLW. They each, each circuit has its own identity, okay? And, and I think it's good for the industry. It's exposing us even more. It's giving more opportunity uh, for people to make a living. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to all three circuits out there. Uh, I can't really say one is dominant over the other. Uh, there's a lot of hype going around about a lot of things. So in my career, I have been with FLW for 23 years. I was with Bassmaster some. Um, and, you know, my building block started with FLW and, uh, you know, making what back in the days when the Red Man Trail used to be around and, now they're called the BFLs. Bassmasters, you know, it's an exciting place to be. And uh, Bassmasters is a place that I got my, my professional career actually started. I started in, in BFLs, well, used to be called Red Man, but I started with the FLW circuit fishing the BFLs many, many years ago. And my professional career was actually started in Bassmasters. Uh, it was Invitationals years ago. I qualified. I actually fished the Bassmasters Classic when I was 19 years old. I actually went up to Ray Scott and said, Ray Scott, I said, you don't know me. My name is Dave Dudley. I said, I'm going to be the youngest to ever win the Bassmaster Classic. He looked at me and kind of giggled and said, all right, son, you know, like, I, I hear you, but whatever. Uh, but... I did have the record. I, th I might miss it. I don't know if I still have the record, but I did stroll around in that Coliseum when I was 19 years old. So that launched me into the BP Top 100s, which I won an event when I was 19. Probably the youngest to ever win. They used to be called BP Top 100s and kind of the elite. So I've got a lot of history in bass, and, and I've got a ton of history with FLW. FLW has been phenomenal place to be. They are truly an organization that cares about their anglers. Uh, they're sincere in, in the way they treat their anglers. And I've been with them for 23 years. And, you know, it's been a hard decision. What, what, what circuit am I going to fish? I didn't get an invitation to BPT, uh, but I did get an invitation to, to cross over and go to Bass. And I've thought long and hard about this issue. I, I really have. I've, I've spent actually sleepless nights, you know, knowing what I can do, and, and in my heart, and goosebumps are popping up, in my heart, if you were to cut me right now, I'd have to say FLW is going to bleed out of my blood, so 2019, I am going to continue with FLW, and stake my claim there, and career there, the people there are phenomenal, people at Bass are great people also, BPT is a little unheard of. We don't know. They're great people that are running, running it. Anything new, there's always, you don't know. But I love the format and watching the TV shows. It is an incredible TV show. If you guys have not watched uh, any of the MLF stuff, it is it's a phenomenal TV show. We got a phenomenal show at, at, at FLW also with our live coverage. Bass has got live coverage. I do a lot of things. So, guys... I will continue to fish FLW. It's a large, it's a big, it's, it's an organization that's got like 20,000 high school anglers. They got over 700 colleges. We're now worldwide. So, guys, if you're looking to build your career, if you're looking to, to take it to the next level, FLW is a place that you can take your, le your game to the next level. I appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, commenting below. I'll see y'all with tournament footage this year in 2019.